What's up, Graveyard Shift family? I wanted to come somewhere interesting. Today's Easter Sunday, and I spent time with the family, did all of that great stuff, but I wanted to come to a place that I did some research on, and it's right here, the Marietta Confederate Cemetery. See, the last time we went to a Confederate Cemetery, it was in Orlando, Florida, and you guys seem to really enjoy that episode. So I want to come and see if the energy is a little bit different here talking to Confederate soldiers in Georgia. <laughs> so let's get to it. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. This is my first couple of steps onto this cemetery, this Confederate soldier cemetery. The energy is definitely interesting like i've been to cemeteries before where like i've immediately become drained or felt the anxiety or nervousness i don't feel any of that here but i definitely feel something i'm not gonna lie to you i feel it feels like a, a heavy pressure on my chest it definitely feels like a heavy pressure on my chest. I don't know what that means. Yes, I'm going up a slight incline, but remember, your boy has been working out. So, I don't know. Let's keep walking, let's explore a little bit. I could have swore I heard steps. <laughs> Y'all, there's no one else out here with me that I can see. Wow. Sheesh. I do feel a shortness of breath. I do feel a shortness of breath. It's interesting. So it's like they're broken out. Like these are the people from South Carolina, the soldiers from South Carolina that passed away. I wanna say I saw the soldiers from Alabama are over there. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. I wonder if the energy would differ. I got had, had to see. Thought I saw somebody walking over there in the distance. There's somebody way, way, way in the distance. But I wonder if the energy would shift from place to place. So from state to state. So that was South Carolina. These, I'm assuming, are the soldiers from, it says, North Carolina. Hero 73. Like, I wonder what the energy feel different. That's Tennessee over there. Oh, wow, look at this. Oh, wow. This is like a whole different vibe. This is a whole different vibe. Oh, wow. This says the slave lot. The slave lot. I want, they, do they actually, do they have? Confederate soldiers buried right next to slaves. I don't, okay, let's read this. Let's read this. Slave lot. The only slave burial ground in any major white Georgia cemetery. Here, 19 Christian slaves and freed persons of Marietta Christians were buried in unmarked graves between 1848 and 1866. Only four have been positively named servants of Miss Eliza G. Roberts, Clarissa, Hannah, Nancy, and Peg. Peggy. They lived adjacent to the north side of the Pre First Presbyterian Church. Oh, wow. Y'all. That's deep. This is 
the only slave burial ground in any major white Georgia cemetery. Wow. So this plot of unmarked graves, it's 19 of them. Only four have been identified. Sits smack dab in the middle of a Confederate soldier cemetery. <laughs> It is so much to unpack here. It is so much to unpack. Y'all, it is so much to unpack. Ah, uh, y'all. Many, a many of episodes we have to do here. A many of episodes we have to do here. What do y'all think? General William Phillips, 1824 to 1908. Y'all. Y'all. Oh my gosh. I, why does this feel like we hit like a, a spiritual jackpot? Like it's so much to unpack in this cemetery. Like I feel like we could do so many episodes and have so many conversations. There's so many different perspectives here. Oh, wow. That's the unmarked slave graves over there with those flags, those little pink markers. Look at these. Look at these headstones. Headstones. Y'all was trying to get on me in the comments. Dalen, they are not tombstones. Tombstones are designated for tombs. What you're looking at is a headstone. Golly, you be beat me up in my comments, man. I got you. These headstones. Oh, wow. It has a reef on top. Thomas Waterman died that April 13th 1867 age 37 years old wow wow okay y'all okay well we came here to do a spirit box session around the confederate soldiers and that's what we're going to do I didn't know this cemetery had all of this. So, let's take a little quick tour of this cemetery and then we will get to a spirit box session. But I just kind of want y'all to see what's here. Look how beautiful this headstone is. gonna do a whole what is this what's up there oh wow sacred oh here comes a truck let me find out this is another private cemetery your boy to get kicked out again <laughs> here we go Oh no, that's just a that's just a visitor. That's just a visitor. You know, all these cars we have me worried now, man. Ever since we done got kicked out of our first cemetery, you know, we earned our we earned our stripes, <laughs> we earned our badges. <laughs> we out here earning our cemetery merit badges, getting kicked out. Wow, look at this. Oh, that was a leaf. Look at that. that what are y'all feeling I don't know I haven't really ran into many graves like this here in Georgia let's look oh wow it looks like a tree broke over here oh, I 
hope it didn't land on any specific headstones or graves. Let's see, let's see if it missed. It looks like it might've genuinely missed every headstone. Oh, wow. Good. <laughs> good, good, good. Unless, you know, they, it looks like somebody, I don't know. Oh, did they cut it or did it break? No, oh, but either way, good stuff. Good stuff. to the 3,000 soldiers in this cemetery from every Southern state who fell on Georgia soil in defense of Georgia rights and Georgia homes. They sleep the sleep of our noble slain, defeated yet without a stain, proudly and peacefully. All right, Graveyard Shift family. It's always something about big trees that draws us to them, right? So I feel like this probably be a good area to do a shift. And ironically, well, maybe it's not ironic, but this is the Georgia section of the Confederate Cemetery. So yeah, we might as well start right here in Georgia. <laughs> that was our initial intent when we got here. So maybe I can set up somewhere under this tree and see maybe we can get some type of conversation going with maybe somebody from that section, maybe somebody from back there, maybe over here. But I think right under this tree will be a really, really good place to start. Let's go. What's up, Graveyard Shift family? It's your boy Daylin clocked in for another, another amazing conversation. You know, before we get started, we gotta introduce ourselves to everyone that's here. To all the spirits and to those resting here, I want you to know that we come in peace, we come in love, and we come in honor. We come in humility. We, I'm just trying to think of all the great things that we come in, guys. It's Easter Sunday. We come with respect. We come with deference. We come being humble. We come with laughter. We come with peace. All things great, guys. All things positive. So despite any negativity that may have happened in the past, present, or future, we're here just to have conversations. So please feel free to step up. Sounds like a bell on this tree, but I don't see one. But please feel free to step up, talk to me. But I do ask that we try to speak maybe one at a time so we can hear everyone who's trying to talk. I would really appreciate that. This little box in my hand, all it does is lets me hear you. So don't be worried about it. Don't be worried about this. This just lets me hear you. All right, y'all. Here we go. The wind picked up. <laughs> Is there anyone here that would like to speak to me? Yes. Say yeah. Okay. What's your name? Will. Will. What? Okay. Will, where are you from? Did it say Tuscaloosa? Wait, Will, tell me one more time. Where are you from? 
Okay. Were you a soldier in the Confederate Army? How old are you? How old were you when you passed away? Did you pass away in battle? Did they say war? Tell me about war. How was it for you? Did you want to go to war? What was your reason for wanting to go to war? Did you have a reason? Do you have any regrets for the decision that you chose? I did not. Would you make the same decision again? Would you choose to fight again? He wanted it. Did you find a sense of honor fighting in the soup in, in the war? How do you feel with this being your resting space? Do you wish that you lived a longer life? Everybody say yes. Do you feel like you died too early? That sounds like a child saying dad twice. I wonder if that's a child from the last cemetery that we're to. Have you realized how times have changed since you passed away? Marvelous. Are you aware of how times are different now? Everything. What's the biggest difference now? So what's the biggest difference that you've noticed now since you passed away? After passing away in war, do you still support war? What was the worst part of war for you? What kept you going during war?
Were there ever moments that you were afraid? What is the last thing you remember? Do you remember any of your of your battles or fights? Do you remember your last moment? What did you miss the most during your time at war? A lot of people think that the Civil War was a lot about slavery. So if you fought for the South, you were for slavery. Is that true for you? Said it isn't. So what was your reason? Did you say money? Did you dislike black people? Thank you for the world. So let me ask you this. Wow. They say shut up. Wow. No, but here's a question. So, they say in Civil War sometimes it was like relatives fighting relatives. What happens? Do you do you ever meet the person that you killed on the other side? Where? Where? So if you killed someone in war, then someone killed you in war. Once you get on the other side, can you have an encounter with the person you killed or the person that killed you? So what happens? Is there is there a level of forgiveness on the other side? Like, do you just call it even Stevens? Okay, let's assume, y'all, that's interesting. So, okay. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Tell me what y'all think about this, y'all. Y'all know we got in these sessions, man. We just start talking. And, and that's the purpose of these sessions for us to, you know, have thought provoking conversations. So, let's take it back to 1860, whatever it is, <laughs> during the Civil War. You got the Confederate versus the, what is it, the Union? <laughs> Don't let me get up here and start trying to throw out history, guys. <laughs> that was not my strong suit. History and math, over here, your boy is a creative writer. <laughs> so you got the North and the South fighting, right? For whatever reasons they're fighting for, whatever reasons. Like they said, it wasn't always about race. Someone said money. You know, it could be about family, could be about country, whatever. They're both fighting. Now, if you kill someone in war, even present day, are you judged for that life? Or are you just doing, following the laws of the land? You see what I'm saying? So, okay, one question. Are you judged for the lives that you take in war? But then that would make me wonder as a police officer, if you take a life, are you judged for that life?
one. Number two, if you're both fighting for whatever your respective cause and you kill each other, are you both then judged for that kill? And if you're not judged for it and you're both in heaven now, how do y'all look at each other? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like that, I don't know. That's just an interesting conversation and thought process. And ever since we've been growing, y'all have been like putting our comments section full of like insightful, insightful, insightful conversations. And I read all the comments, y'all. So please tell me your thoughts in the comments. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, like the channel, hit the notification bell. Y'all, let's get back to it. So are you judged for the lives that you take during war? But do you get to justify that? Because war has been around forever. Okay. So all is forgiven on the other side, I was I, I would assume. Okay. Is anyone else that would like to come through? That we talked to Will. Me? What's your name? Wait, what's your name? Okay, I didn't catch your name. Can you tell me how old you are? Wait, how old did you say? Now, did you say you had a wife? What, what was your wife's name? Let's say Beth. <laughs> What's one thing you remember about Beth? What was Beth's prettiest feature? This ain't tall. What did you love most about Beth? Well, this ain't chemistry. If you and Beth were still alive, what would be the one thing you wish you could still do with her? Do you remember the last thing you ate before you passed away? What? If you would have known that was going to be your last meal, would you have chosen something else? There's no one. Just no one. Or is it you just no? Okay, let me ask you this. Before you pass away, do you have any indication that it's about to happen? Like even if it's a second before. Brief. Like are you always was there always a warning before death? How did you die? Do you remember how you died?
So what keeps you earthbound? Is anyone here afraid to cross over? Are there a lot of spirits walking around here? Are you able to leave outside of this cemetery? Are you able to watch and go around your family? Do you enjoy people coming to visit you all? Do you guys have a message for anyone that's listening? Okay. Okay. I thank you for your time. I say you too. Did you enjoy our conversation? Do you mind if I come back? You know what's interesting about this? I don't know. I don't know. It seems different. The vibe at this portion of this Confederate cemetery seems a lot different from it did in Orlando. Orlando felt like like I wasn't supposed to be there, but they was cool. Like I had a G pass. <laughs> like they was letting me, I had a God pass. <laughs> they was letting me just slide through. Here, it just feels like everybody's just like down to talk. Or maybe it was me asking people to come one at a time and the people that came through were the people that wanted to talk. It just doesn't feel, I don't feel unsettled. I don't feel unwelcome. I think we got some interesting responses. I'm, I'm anxious to go back and hear what came through the spirit box. But I'm going to definitely upload this video probably tomorrow, guys. Like, this is gonna be like a, a Monday video. This ain't even our Friday drop, so don't even trip if it ain't as long or as thorough as you think it is or as supposed to be or as it usually is. This is just, yeah, I think I'm gonna start dropping videos more often. I'm enjoying this. and Y'all are starting to like really, really get involved. So I want to thank y'all for that. But to the next shift, y'all.